Hey everybody, Ash here with 10 Cents. I ran a poll on my YouTube channel not that long ago asking which of five different fragrances that you wanted me to review. I didn't tell you specifically what each fragrance was, just a quick description about it. This is the fragrance that won. This one is a cheap designer, perfect for spring and summer. You can pick it up for under $20 for a 100 ml bottle. It smells way better than you would think at that price. It's a house that you wouldn't really think about when you think about good fragrances. But we're gonna take a look at this one and I'll tell you why it's worth checking out. It's Bois de Vetiver by Carl Lagerfeld. Now, I didn't actually realize this had already been reviewed. It's been reviewed by Max Forti. I didn't know that until I Googled this fragrance's name and his video popped up. I didn't watch the video though because I didn't want it to skew anything that I was gonna say here. So I'll check it out after I get done with this. And also guys, no presentation this time. I bought a tester, so you can just check out the bottle. It does look cool though. Cylindrical, maybe a little bit similar to some of the Mercedes-Benz fragrances. It's got a little bit of a gradient. Simple but classy, it looks good. Uh, the atomizer on this is good too. It does shoot out kind of a concentrated black. Go ahead and check this out with me here. It's a good atomizer, but I think you can see right there, it makes kind of concentrated patches where you spray it. And guess what the price on this one is, which I guess you already know by the thumbnail. Under $20 for a 100 ml bottle, as long as you get a tester like I did. Right now at FragranceNet, the tester is running $19.52 after the 37% off coupon. If you decide to splurge and go for that full presentation, $23.30. bucks and 30 cents. So either way, super cheap. If you don't know how to get that 37% off, just check out the video I did on it. I'm gonna search my channel for FragranceNet. I think that should pull it up. It says max discount on the thumbnail. That way you can get the maximum discount every time you shop on FragranceNet. So you guys already know it goes for a great price. Let's talk about the scent itself. You would think since vetiver is right in the name here that it would be a vetiver heavy scent, uh, but it's really not. When you first spray this on, it's a big blast of mint and citrus. In particular, blood orange. It does have a very light vetiver undertone, but it's really light and it's a green vetiver. So yeah, there is a little bit of a green fresh vetiver in the background, but it's really not a vetiver scent. Comes across immediately very appealing, fresh, pleasant, versatile, and thankfully does not come across like a synthetic mess. You would think a Karl Lagerfeld fragrance going for under 20 bucks for a 100 ml bottle would just be an absolute catastrophe. Like you would think you would spray it on and it would just give you a headache or smell like trash, but it doesn't. It does have your typical people pleasing, mass appealing notes in here. It's got the citrus, it's got ambroxan, it's got mint, but it does it in a little bit of a different way. Instead of going the really sweet route, this is fresher. Uh, so it's not really a club friendly kind of mass appealing fragrance. It doesn't really project heavily, doesn't scream for attention. This one is a little subtler, better for casual wear, office wear, fresher, cleaner, instead of trying to go sweeter, sexier. And when I say that, don't take it that there's no sweetness in here because there definitely is. It's just a little more subtle. That minty citrus open leads into a geranium mid, so it gives you a little bit of a lemony floral feel. Complements the citrus from the opening really well. Again, very fresh and clean. It stays that way the whole way through. Going into the dry down, there's a nice ambroxan base. It's not metallic, it's not in your face, it's not cloying. Just lends a little bit of warm sweetness. Again, there are touches of vetiver here and there throughout the life of the fragrance, but vetiver isn't really that strong here. In essence, what it is is a fresh, clean citrus fragrance. So you've got kind of a fruity sweetness with touches of ambroxan and geranium as it dries down. This is really, really well done for the price, very surprising. And actually I wouldn't have known about this at all had I not covered this on one of my old This Week in Fragrance videos. I talked about this before it was released. So when I saw this for sale, I remembered and was like, oh yeah, I covered that at one point, let me scoop it up. And I was really surprised. If you look on Fragrantica, this is getting compared to Cartier Declaration. I'm going to say Declaration because it's easier for me to say, instead of Declaration, which I guess I technically just said. And there are some things taken from this fragrance and put into this one, but it's really not that close. It's not close enough that I would go onto Fragrantica and say, this reminds me of this. The opening is completely different between the two fragrances. The Cartier comes across much woodier in the opening, spicier. There's a lot of cardamom in Declaration, which is not present in the Karl Lagerfeld. Cartier is not as fresh, much less citrus, no mint, more vetiver in the Cartier. So the opening to me is not really all that close. And then in the dry down, the Cartier is much woodier, again, spicier. With lots more going on, it's a more complex fragrance. 
The lager felt basically cleaner, fresher, lighter, more subdued. And in today's day and age, I would say the Lagerfeld is much easier to wear. The Lagerfeld really smells like you take Hermes, Terre d'Hermes, Eau Tre Fraiche, mix it with just bits and pieces of the Cartier, and a little touch of that Ambroxan that is in so many releases nowadays. The Lagerfeld is not overly complex, it's not daring, it's not anything really new or revolutionary. But what it does, it does very well at a great price point. I love to wear it, the people around me like the way it smells, perfect for warm weather like right now. Sweet, a little fruity, refreshing, clean, Versatile, appealing, pleasant. That's this fragrance. So all those great things, is there a drawback? For me, it's the performance. Now it's not apocalyptically bad, but it's not great. Projection is best in the first 30 minutes, then it starts to sit closer to your skin. So at that point, you're gonna have a soft scent cloud, but it's not really pushing out there. Again, that's why it works best in warmer weather. You could spray it on heavier, maybe spray it on your clothes, reapply throughout the day, but understand that at least for me, projection is not great. Longevity for me though is better than the projection. Not amazing still, but in the five to six hour range. So while it is sitting a little bit closer to my skin, at least it's still there. So not great longevity, but serviceable. And for under $20, I really couldn't ask for that much more. Overall, highly impressed. I expected absolutely nothing from Karl Lagerfeld. If I'm being honest, I thought it was going to be complete trash. So I was really, really surprised. A nice looking presentation that doesn't look cheap at all. Really pleasing, easy to wear, versatile fragrance that I can get for under 20 bucks. Can't go wrong. Had I gotten this before I shot my summer list, which I actually had shot for a little while now and just haven't released, it would have made at least an honorable mention, maybe even crept into the top 10. It's really, really nice and I'm gonna get some wear out of this this summer. Actually works out really well for me because I can spray it on in the morning and by the late afternoon, it's dissipated enough, I can wear something else. Silver lining. There we go, Karl Lagerfeld Bois de Vetiver. A little bit of a hidden gem. It's a newer release too, so this hit bargain bins quick. If you're shopping on FragranceNet and you need to add a little bit more money to get free shipping or something like that, check this one out, absolutely. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've smelled this one, let me know what you think about it. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.